We are racing the tide right now, guys. That tide out there is coming in. We can slurp this thing just about straight off the rocks. This is the bloody shark carcass. We got him, we got to get him out. Breakfast of champions. What's going on, legends? Welcome back to another episode. For the next two days, guys, I'm going to be living off only what I can catch, guys. Everyone has left me for Christmas. My girlfriend's in America. My family's on the other side of Australia. So it's just me and you guys. We're going exploring. We're going spearfishing right now. We're going to solo camp tonight on the beach. Tomorrow morning, we're going to go bow fishing in the tide pools. This one's going to be so sick. How's she looking? She's looking lovely. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh my goodness, look at the flies right now. All right, so plan of attack, guys. We got this completely empty beach all to ourselves. We need to swim out there, guys, and we need food. I literally do not care what I spear right now. I don't think it's going to be anything crazy. I literally just need food for tonight. We're going to start out, and we're pretty much just going to make our way along this rock edge right here, and hopefully we can pick up a fish there for dinner. Beautiful little Chinaman guys. That's what this is a little Chinaman now in certain parts of the world guys These fish can make you extremely sick They can hold a toxin known as cigatera poisoning and it can absolutely just wipe you out But where I live guys these things do not have cigatera poisoning I've never actually eaten one before and I've heard mixed reviews from the locals So I guess today's the day whether we, we give it a try and see how it goes I must say they are a beautiful looking fish guys Wow, look at those blue stripes that go all the way along. I guess the test is whether they're good eating or not. This is what we bloody live for. Touching our own food. <laughs> look at this, guys. Sun setting. Beach is up in front of us, guys. And this is where we're bloody having dinner. We're camping here the night, baby. Just me and you. It's going to be so sick. How's the spot, guys, for the cook-up? Look at this right now. Are you bloody kidding me? Right, just whack the fillets off this bad boy in the water right here, and I'll get it straight on the fire. Whoa, that meat looks beautiful. All right, take the skin off it quickly. I only have my bloody dive knife in the car, so not really the right tool for the job, but we'll make do. Beautiful fillet. It's a sucker in. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at this right now, guys. This has got to be one of the sickest spots I've ever done a cook up. I've been giving you the worst. That looks incredible. All right, I guess without feeling like too sorry for myself and everything like that, Christmas is a time of year, guys, to celebrate and uh, spend time with your family. This year, I didn't really get the opportunity to spend time with my family, guys. I'm on the other side of Australia, and uh, my girlfriend is back in America. So right now, we're having a bloody Christmas celebration solo. Me and you guys, day one is just about complete. Just waiting for this fish to finish up cooking. And then tomorrow morning, actually right behind me out there we're going to be walking out there on low tide it'll be completely drained out and that's where we'll be able to find some fish maybe some octopus i don't know what we're going to find we're going to find breakfast out there in the mornings all right moment of truth let's bloody try this fish see how she goes fingers crossed guys 
I don't get bloody cigarette poisoning and I'm in hospital over Christmas. So cheers, much love to you guys. Appreciate all your support. Let's uh, give it a try. Honestly, it's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Not as good as coiled trout and tusky, but um, still pretty good. I'm probably gonna give it like a, a 7.5 out of 10. All right, guys, I'm just gonna smash down the rest of this fish. We got barely any light left. We're gonna bloody find a sick camp spot, and then what we do, we'll wake up super early in the morning, and we'll be straight out there with the bow, going to hunt some breakfast. Good morning, guys. That sun is just peeking over the horizon right now. And that was one epic sleep last night, guys. Actually slept like a baby, not gonna lie, it was really good. Got to bed a little bit late, but um, slept like a baby once I got to sleep. So you might be able to tell behind me, guys, right here, is all these tide pools. And what's happening right now is that tide is going out. And that's where we'll be able to walk out with the bow and arrow and hopefully we can find ourselves some brekkie. So we are racing the tide right now, guys. That tide out there is coming in and we need to bloody get out in these mud flats and find some food. Look how many oysters there are. Let's quickly snack on a few of these bad boys. Oh. We can slurp this thing just about straight off the rocks. That one was really creamy. That's our first creature. Look at this little guy. He's got a rock crab. Man, look how camouflage he is. Look, you would not even know he's bloody there. Here, he's just sitting out the open. This guy must be breeding or something like that. Look at him. He's just spraying me with water. Look at him. He gets so flared up, guys. And actually squirt water at us. He's a squirter. <laughs> look at him. Man, these are incredible creatures. You know, what they'll do is they'll move across these flats and find mates. And I think that's what that one back there was doing. Because it was completely out in the open, it had nowhere to go. And it just didn't feel right uh, spearing it with the bow and arrow. So I reckon what we do is we just keep moving. Hopefully we can find one that's maybe even a bit bigger. And also a bit more of a hunt because it just didn't sit right with me spearing that thing. Look at this little guy. Got a little bit of a rock crab. Look at him. He's incredible. He looks exactly like a rock. Look how compact he is. He's a little tank, that thing. Look at this, we've got a small baby little octopus right here. This is just a little one, guys. So uh, this is definitely not the right size that we want. This is just a little baby. Look at him. Look at him squirt. Same thing, just sitting out in the open. So that small one, guys. Uh, also, we're going to leave that one. This right here, guys, is a clam. Absolutely stunning creatures. The colors on these, they can be so variant. They can be green, purple. This one right here is kind of like, I guess, like a dark brown tiger. Man, they're so beautiful. Look at this guy. Oh, look at him. Just grabbed his tail. Look at him. You're beautiful, man. What they do is they just come in on this high tide guard and they, they just feed. Look at him. He's right next to my foot. He just ran into my foot. He's got nowhere to go, it's so shallow here. Woohoo! Whoa, this is the bloody shark carcass. The thing has absolutely just been ripped apart. Oh, it stinks. You can, this is obviously its fin, its dorsal fin right there. And then this is its side fin, but oh, this thing stinks. <clears throat> Abs and everything will just rip that thing apart and uh, nothing will be left. Oh, look, you can see all the bones from it. Look at that. That is incredible. You can still see there's meat in between them. Oh, I'll take a shot here. Oh, just went over the top of them. They're gone. We've got a massive octopus right here. He's just on the edge of his hole, so he's going to escape. But this is one of the biggest ones I've ever seen in my life. So, let me take this shot, guys. Look at him. He's just here, guys. We got him. We got to get him out. Yep, we got him. We got him guys, yes. You may not like this part, this is the part where we put him out. Best way to do it is just bite straight between his eyes. He's completely dead now guys, he's out. So uh, we need to get breakfast, this is the way of life guys. And uh, we gotta eat somehow. He's completely dead guys, you can see right now he's not moving. 
that right there, that is beautiful breakfast. Side. Look at it move. Charred octopus for brekkie. Woo. That actually looks hell good. Literally the perfect size offy for the pan. Brekkie is ready. Woo. We finally got our meal right here. It's bloody octopus. Let's give her a shot. Oh. No word of a lie, that's actually hell good. A little bit chewy, but flavor, it's on point. Breakfast of champions, fat octopus. See you guys in the next adventure, much love. Chew.